ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Gamers Platform, the only place to be for all your gaming needs. I'm Adam Wolf, and we're back in World of Warcraft for the lore of it all. And uh, we continue our adventure right here in Kul Tiras, the home of Jaina Proudmoore. And we're going to see if we can help her out. Because right now I think she's being held prisoner by her own damn mother. And they blame her for everything that happened with her father's death and uh, the loss of many, many soldiers. But don't you worry, her champion is here to save her. So let's get into it. All right, let's see about what we have here. Uh, okay, so we gotta scout the map. Done. <laughs> Tear guard sound. Expose the corruption in Boralis and earn Catherine Proudmore's trust. We must convince Catherine Proudmore to pledge Kulteras to the Alliance. Flynn believes the Ashvane Trading Company's new gunpowder is our best lead. Sounds good to me. How can I help? Ah, I'm really excited. Really excited just to. Ooh, ugh, I never got a chance to finish this uh, expansion, so I'm really excited. Though I do wish we could have gone through the game. Uh, as it used to be, you know, through all the expansions and stuff like that, but in order to do that, we're going to have to start at WoW Classic, and uh, that's going to be a long time from now. We'll support you however we can. Duty Come sail away. I've always dreamed of adventure. Maybe with your help, we can restore the people's faith in Proudmoore leadership. Alright, then. What's this big lead of yours? Something about Ashvain having a new gunpowder? How is that a lead? They're making new Not weapons like all the this. time. Emissary, mind giving our skeptical colleagues here a demonstration? Anytime there's like some sort of cutscene like this, I'm just going to turn off the UI, which I love the fact that it's so simple. Um, do I have to? I guess I'm the emissary. I'm not sure how I can give them a demonstration. I'm I'm just me. Are you thirsty? I'm thirsty. Oh, and uh, by the way, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Grab yourself a cup of, uh, well, any kind of drink, really. Coffee, water, energy drink, or if you're old enough, a light alcoholic beverage. The Ashvane Company doesn't know it yet, but throwing you into Toll, da uh, Toll Dagger was the biggest mistake they've ever made. That new powder we swiped could be the key to bringing them down. First, how about we give everyone a little demonstration of just how powerful this stuff is. He loads a pinch of glittering powder into his pistol. Go ahead, take a shot at that barrel over there. Don't look back. Ah, the barrel. Uh. Oh. That's what that's for. Oh! <laughs> I got blown on my ass. Dirty secret. It's dirty, all right. And that was just a pinch. Imagine how much damage they could do with more of this stuff. I wouldn't call that gunpowder. More like explosive powder. A job's a job, mate. That's a kick, don't it? Keep the powder dry. Any more talking? No. Okay. Sound off. So, Ashvane's goons are walking around with a new powder that can blow a galleon clean in half, and a military has no idea. We need to find out how much of this powder they have and where it's going. An old buddy of mine works the ferry down by the Ashvane foundry. He may know something about this. You can take the ferry from Tradewinds Market to East Point Station. Once you get there, look for a man named Cagney. Tell him I sent you. He owes me a favor. Flynn. Have another job for you. All right, I'll just help our new ally track down the source of this power. Again, I'm just gonna do one quest at a time. You got it. Come, Flynn. Talia, prepare to make your rounds again. Tell the city I don't want to lose what dialogue I might weapons being smuggled into Baralis. Might be able to hear. Isa. Okay. We go. Up, 
Okay. I have to go up here. Up and around. Up, up, and away. Hooray! I like this music. This is nice. Fits the, uh, the area, doesn't it? You don't know any locations connected to this one. Okay, well that was the point, wasn't it? <laughs> Alright, well he's the... He's the one guy I need to talk to. Now I need to go talk to Cagney. Yeah, if there's one area that could really tank my... Uh, Performance. It's not really tanking it, but it's, you know, it's dropping it a bit. It's definitely Kultiris. Kultiris is quite. quite the place. Now, wait a second. Oh, okay. It's all the way down. So I gotta grab this and just go all the way down there. Oh, uh, this way? Also, real quick, let me just double check here. Voice chat. I want to make sure this is off. Oh, that's right. I don't have a microphone connected to this computer. <laughs> now, what is this? Oh, that's, de that's a details thing. It's this right here. Could actually just close this. Uh-oh. Uh, I kind of, kind of hid that. Didn't want to do that. Mm, okay, cool. <laughs> I, I'm not sure how to get that back. I, I right clicked it, and it's. I guess that was to hide it. Didn't want to do that. All right, I'm just gonna go across. I'm gonna swim. Take a swim. Guess I'll put deadly boss mods up there. <laughs> Who makes an add-on that does that? <laughs> Where it's like, oh yeah, if you just right-click it, it disappears. Nice design. Hey! We hit 15. And that means we can now allocate some more talent points. Finally. Alright, we'll get to that in a second. Uh, where's the... F oh, they're up there. Let us be doing this. Oh. We're almost there. So we're going to go with Unfurling Darkness. Hey, what do you want? That's how I, I always imagine him sounding. Normally I wouldn't tell you nothing, but I'll spill it for Cyrus. Ashvane's on to something big. They got guys working round the clock in there. Even brought in some muscle to keep everyone uh, motivated. I don't know anything about what they're making, but I know it ain't passing through here to Boralis. If I were dumb enough to go snooping around in there, I'd look at the goods themselves. See if they got shipping labels. But I ain't that dumb, so you gotta do it. Oh gee, thanks. That makes me so happy. That you're willing to put my life on the line. But, oh, Vampiric Touch. Wait, I already had that. Is that what the talent changed? 
Yeah, after pa casting Vampire touch on, a touch on a target, your next Vampire Touch within 8 seconds is insta-cast and deals 128 shadow damage immediately. And what's the... That's over 21 seconds. But if I do it within the next 8 seconds, then, you know, there you go. This just got more interesting. So we have to look at the goods, because the goods may be the thing that's covering up the dirty deed. Wrong place at the wrong time, friend. Right. Wait a minute. Don't I have a macro for this? Yeah. Pretty sure I did. And it's... That's in the wrong spot. I'm not sure what that was all about. Why my macro was missing. It shouldn't have been. This, I believe, was here. I'm just gonna throw that on you and see if you die from it. Uh, this unmistakable scent of gunpowder washed from this crate. Good to know. They are shipping it in the goods. How many people have eaten this? What's this? What's going on? Stop it. Hmm. I'm not sure what that is, but I'll take it. Seems important. <laughs> There's all these, like, postings around, but... What is this? Wasn't really... Oh, yeah? Aha! That seems like a good thing. Just cast it twice anyway. Don't wait for the eight seconds or within eight seconds or whatever. Just cast it. Oh, dude, is this why I'm not seeing too many? Because people keep taking them? No, see, they show up. Not sure what these postings are, but, you know. Another, another one of their blades. The problem is... There's not a whole lot of these goods lying around here. Up here? This whole section's in there, so... Well, for the most part, anyway. Oh, hello. Yeah, see, that throws it off a little bit. Thank you, but I didn't need your help. Thank you. Ah, war resources for, um, what you call it there? The uh, mini game that they have in this. Like, you cut your base or whatever. All right, now. That's rude. I'm gonna die anyway. You might as well let me finish you off quickly. Oh, quit blubbering. And fight! <laughs> Kids, am I right? I'm right. I'm no friend of yours. Have fun with that. I do actually kind of wish that, uh... 
you know, I'm not, there probably is a class in here that, you know, you can like cast a disease or a, a debuff on a character and then spread it around to uh, other enemies. I just don't know which class that is, if there is one, and I kind of wish it was the Shadow Priest. Because essentially these are diseases, in a way. Mm, no, but you did. I just took all your gold. I mean, copper. You don't have gold. You're not paid enough for this. This should be... No, it's not going to be easy enough. Because this dude's here. At least this guy doesn't care. <laughs> oh, Forge Master. Oh, he didn't voice that one. I'm clocking out one last time. From back here, he looked like, I don't know, a dude with a beak. I don't know why. And I'm out. Now, some of you, of course, might look at this and be like, wow, that's really tedious to not pick up all these quests. Like I said, if you're new to the channel or new to the series, I'm just trying to keep it less confusing. If I do one quest at a time, we will understand the flow of whatever story that's trying to tell. Right? Each chapter in a book is literally about one subject, for the most part. You know? I'm just trying to keep it flowing. But don't think I won't go back to those. Oh, look, it's Flynn. Even though he wasn't the one I got the quest from. Sounds like they're making a ton of this stuff and keeping it under wraps. That's bad. See you around. <clears throat> well, duh. Now I'm going to go back, and I'm going to go grab that quest, whatever's in there. Which, honestly, might have been to kill the Forge Master there, and I already did. But that's okay. That's fine. We're fine. Must we do this every time? Okay, rude. Actually, I do recall having this here, and then this was here. There we go. Right. Wait, salty dog. I thought that was like linen or something. Don't need those. Don't need extra crap building up in my freaking inventory. Okay, let's see. Uh, there was one right here. What does this say? This letter from Priscilla Ashvane to her employees appears to be posted all over the foundry. <clears throat> it sounds like Cagney's information was accurate. Ashvane is working their people around the clock. Priscilla mentions a Forge Master Farthing and a Taskmaster Williams. They may have more information about her plans. See? Told you. Effective immediately, all shifts are doubled. We do not ask this of you lightly. Your hard work ensures the safety of Kultiris in these uncertain times. Uncertain times, she says. Regarding increased company presence on site, I already killed the Forge Master without knowing it. That's uh, unfortunate. Hey, big guy. Given the rumors of foreign invaders and spies among us, we can never be too sure. Obey their instructions to avoid any unseemly incidents. Kindly direct inquiries to Mr. Farthing or Mr. Wiggins. Oof. Suffer no insolence from the soot smeared. Boy, he was, uh, examples, if you he was a hefty boy. What matters is that our clients get their supplies on time. I almost never come out of shadow form. And ban this note after reading it, you buffoon. Well, he didn't, so none of them did. It was all posted. Oh, this is lovely. 
Oh, yeah, that's right. They're scared. And I just healed. Let's do it again. Let's go kill Farthing again for the second time. So Priscilla is working her workers to the bone. Literally. She's not a nice lady. I didn't like her from the very beginning of that cutscene. Like, she's so abrasive. Like she's controlling... Uh, Lady Proudmore's uh, decisions. Well, you should never have attacked me. I'm just trying to go through the place. Again with the stun. You think that's going to stop you from dying? I think not. See? I guess that salty... Oh. I was gonna say, I guess that salty sea dog cracker actually comes in handy right now. And it will. I'll eat it now. Mmm, salty. There, literally two seconds and I'm good. Now, it's not like I wouldn't want to... It's not like I wouldn't want the music to keep playing. The music is very good, but I do, I have done it before and I do find it starts to become less than awesome the longer I listen to it, which is unfortunate because I really think the music in this game is fantastic, but it's just like, if you have it constantly playing, then there's no oomph to it when it actually does start playing. You're clocking out again for the last time. Wow, she's awful. The chemists are producing excellent powder. You will keep them supplied with refined azurite, or I'll find someone who can. She's a mean old lady. See, now the music starts up again. Now, it's not at the most epic moment, but it's, you know... Again, it's a treat when it starts. You know, now it's changed to something very more... Very more. Uh, much more tranquil. Blood or gold. Everything has a cost. Most folks working for the Ash uh, Ashvane Trading Company don't know how rotten they are or don't have any other choice. The sooner we take down Priscilla, the better. All right, what do we got? Ooh, uh, we lose haste, though. And haste is something I need. And we gain haste here, but lose mastery. And uh, mastery is actually one of the other ones we need. No, oh, no, we gained mastery. I'm sorry. We lose versatility, which is at the bottom of the list. So we're going to go with the gloves. And again, some of you might be looking at this like, why aren't you, you know, using the heirloom items? And I, I just, you know, I want to experience the game, you know, in full. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know what I mean. All right, Cagney, what else you got? The Ashman Company has been working their people so hard, they even uh, they even tried to strike. The company bought, uh, brought in a bunch of goons to break it up, and everyone got back to work. Heard they even shot a couple of guys who tried to walk off the job. What say you give them a taste of their own brutality while you're in there? I just killed a bunch of them. Ah. Now, now I see why you grab a bunch at the same time, because you're gonna you're bound to do it. Eventually, but yeah, I don't want to. I mean, I guess it wouldn't be too bad. 
Like, it wouldn't convolute the story we're trying to, to go through here, but still. That's okay, that just means I get to come in here, get more XP, and kill more guards. Does uh, Shadow Word Pain actually... Yeah, it does it does cause instant shadow damage. You should have never come here. Ash Bane will prevail. All you got to do is just keep spamming until you hit each one twice and then you're good to go. Yeah, see, Shadow Word Paint doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but, you know. Oh, okay. That's that's just rude. Whoa! You trying to push me back, man? I'm just trying to kill you. Is that so much to ask? I guess the Salty Crackers actually could come in handy right now. Let's uh, salt that. I still gotta clear this uh, these bags out. Yeah, Shadow Word Pain doesn't really do a whole lot of damage. It's like 17 damage, I believe it said. Nah, see, it's 16 damage, so I'm getting one more extra damage out of it. Let's get the salty crackers down here at least. I'm a salty cracker. <laughs> Racism against myself. All right. All right. Well, you're going to die anyway, dude. I believe it said it can't occur more than once every 15 seconds or so, I think, right? Yes. Boom. See, I already know what I'm doing. Damn it all. Okay. That was weird. She didn't do anything to me. Well, you're still going to die. There you go. Have fun with that uh, death of yours. Oh, I forgot to do this. I have to give myself extra stamina. What the hell is wrong with me? Stamina, I believe, is mostly health. Yeah. But more health equals uh, more alive me. And I'm done with my coffee already. But it's a good thing I have water. Oh, Flynn's gone. Oh, nope, there he is. <laughs> Can you believe I have this installed on an SSD and it's still... <laughs> that happens? Nobody likes living under the thumb of company men like that. They ain't gonna be missed. Boom! Level 16. They said... Whoa. Oh, hey. Can you want to take... Yeah, okay. They said they would feed us. Said they'd keep us warm. Olive runs... The sleeve of her coat across her nose, but they were mean, and it was really hard work. And when we tried to rest, they yelled at us. I got away, but my friends are still in there. Bye. That's the little kids crying. Got it. Send those kids to the western edge of the no, wait. There was dialogue. Oh. There when you've got some information on those shipments. Uh, all right. Bye, Flynn. Just disappear into the into nothing. Cool. It is kind of crazy though. I have I have the uh, 
the view distance and everything just maxed out and it's still like you can still see stuff fading in and out in the distance you know there's <laughs> there's always going to be a limitation no matter how powerful your computer is and mine's certainly not but it's powerful enough to crank the graphics and be fine I'm so happy I don't have to actually like get off my horse to talk to these kids. That's awesome. It'd be even cooler not to be able to not to have to get off my freaking horse to uh, uh not to get off my horse in order to cast like a a dot or something. That'd be cool. That'd be too easy though. I don't think they'd want to do that. And it's a good thing these all these kids are different instances. Oof, that is so much damage. Vampiric touch is so devastating sometimes. I hope they have food on the boat. Yes, they will have food on the boat. You're fine. Them's good peoples. Ah, there's one standing right in the middle of the street. You're lucky you don't get run over, kid. Ahoy! Head down to the water. There's a boat waiting to take you safety. Oh, I need one more. Um, right there. Right on the edge. How you doing? Ah, he's fine. I mean, you're not doing much about it. Oh, you dead. Oh, right. We got to go down to the boat because that's where Flynn is. Oh, damn it. Hmm. What's the word? These kids are going to have it hard enough without being under Ashwin's thumb. Thanks for getting them out. No problem, Flynn. Figures they wouldn't just put destination on the crates for us. Uh, figures they wouldn't just put the destination on the crates for us. Nothing's ever easy, is it? If the weapons aren't moving on Cagney's Ferry, they must be passing through Bridgeport, the shipping hub just up the road. Bridgeport is protected by a garrison of proud war marines. The Ashvane Company has a lot of nerve moving illegal weapons right under their noses. Come on, let's check it out. You Next got it, Flynn. Oh, good. At least Peggy, you'll be paying. Get these kids on a ferry back to town. Talia will make sure they get placed into a shelter. Mate, I'll see you up ahead. Yes, you will. We're gonna kick some Ashvane butt. Or proud war butt. I don't know which one we're... Dealing with, we're dealing with both, I guess. For the time being, I love the colors. The colors are so nice. Let's get the flight path real quick. Flynn pretends not to notice you, but whispers at you. Of course, it's her. Bridgeport is a major hub for this area. Naturally, Ashvane has offices and workshops here. Check around town and see if you can learn anything about this new material and how they're using it. If you can lift a sample for us to send back to Boralis, even better. I gotta stay here and keep an eye on someone. Let's get who, are, who are you keeping an eye on there, Flynn? An old flame? The one that got away? No? Alright. Hmm. Oh, uh, 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 excuse me. I'm just going to check this out real quick. After finally discovering a suitable base, we have successfully produced a stable compound. In this state, it can be stored, transported, or in introduced into the mixing process to infuse a terribly potent black powder. I am so confident in its stability that initial samples were sent to Boralis suspended inside a necklace. As we run the cauldrons day and night mixing powder... Uh, work also continues on prototyping further applications. Our most promising so far is a pistol, which we hope will make another suitable gift for our esteemed lady chairman. The disorganized notes go on to detail various projects and aspirations. 
Scribble, scribble, scribble. I got your notes now, and I'm literally standing right next to you, taking them down. You're an idiot. Literally just taking the stuff right from under their noses, and they're like, well, you know. Yeah, why not? No, go ahead. Have something. It's fine. Take whatever you need. I do believe it well. Oh, God, that was terrible. Flynn side-eyes you while trying his best to look casual. You get what we need? Good. I'll hang on to them for now. I think I've found our next lead. Flynn lifts his collar to hide his face and speaks to you under his breath. You see that ship? I know that ship. Let's just say her captain and I have a little history. It's a smuggling vessel. Our illegal weapons are on there for sure. I'd bet my coat on it, and I love this coat. <laughs> we need to find out where it's going. How are you in tight spaces? If you got any more business in town, now's the time to do it. Let me know when you're ready to board that ship and go wherever the wind takes us. Okay, so we're not going to do that yet. Because uh, that's going to, well, leave all these quests behind. And you guys know, we're here to do pretty much the majority of the quests. And by majority, I mean all of them. That's the point. Do, 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 do. Am I going the wrong way? I am not. Not really. There was still some quests back in the uh, the main hub, so we don't want to leave without doing all of those. Obviously, we'd be able to return here. But then, you know, I mean, look, look at how, how much of this is undiscovered at the moment. And I'm not saying we're going to be leaving this place. We're probably going to be going like to one of the other sections, but I don't remember. I did get further than this point in this uh, expansion, but I never finished it. I just don't know where it's going to take us. So I don't want to take that chance and leave any quests behind. We must know the story. I was going to say, are those attacking NPCs? I mean, they basically are. Still have the Exodar as a... Uh, there we go. Show that as experience. Though I don't believe we're going to really be... Beloved anytime soon. Hmm. Water. Your throat does get dry after talking for quite a few hours, and it's always good to have some sort of drink at hand. Right. See, now that I'm concentrating more on the quests and, you know, the reading them and understanding what the story is, at least for each of the quests, you know, what exactly are we doing, I'm actually starting to you know, realize when I'm going to be leaving some quests behind. It's like, oh, I got to go back. And it definitely would have been very beneficial to uh, fly, but oh well. <laughs> uh, excuse me, Risky Liz, you're a fur trader? You there, would you happen to be passing by Hatherford? I have a delivery to make there, but my normal delivery person fell ill after a trip to Angel Point. Or Angle Point. Angle Point, sorry. Would you mind taking this bundle of furs to Danny, Dandy Jones in Hatherford for me? I would go myself, but I must hold down my stall. Sure. Um, I'm not sure if I trust somebody named Risky Liz, but... You know, what, what else do I have to do? All right, he's just across the way, and I don't have the uh, flight path for that. But I soon will. Bum, 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 bum. Bum 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 bum. Bum 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 bum. Bum 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 bum. 
Bam, 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 bam. Guess we can just go this way? Oh yeah, there's a bridge connecting it. Right, right. How much money do I have? 43 gold? That's insane! Oof, I love this song. But it's very epic. And it's quickly gone. <laughs> Well, there's more. Wow, there's a lot more quests out here. We're going to be here for a while. Probably a couple episodes before we actually go talk to Flynn again. That's fine with me. There's a lot to be. A lot of story to be had. You got the coin? That's how you got the bargains. Welcome to my inn, friend. How can I help you? Ah, my furs. Thanks for the delivery. It's getting a bit cold out here. These will be perfect for the beds. If you need food or a place to lay your head, I can offer you the best. Appreciate your patronage. Well, I will make this my home. Why not? All right, let's get the uh, the flight path. We'll go back. We're going to go back to the main hub and, and just finish up the quests in there first. Fancy a kappa? Fancy a kappa? No. Trade winds market. See, now this, this Windrunner, right? Is that what they're called? Whatever, doesn't matter. They're more interesting to look at. They got multicolor here. I like it. Why is that lit up? Stop doing that. Wait, did I get a new? I didn't. I won't get another one until next. Wait, I already have Fade. Oh, Fade rank two. Man, they really spaced out this, the uh, abilities, didn't they? What? I, what? I can't jump over this? Thank you. Game. Right? When I tell you to do something, you do it. Cyrus takes an official looking document from his jacket, signs it, then offers it to you. Here, this will give you access to the ferry system. Oh, look at that. Probably just needed that. There are ferry stations all along the interior coastline of the Sound. Don't forget about them during your travels. Probably should have just asked him about that first. But how was I to know? And apparently this... Doesn't have anything on it, even though it has the... Yeah, okay. Fine. You have nothing, apparently. Even though the game says you do... Have something. But there's nothing there, so... I can't do anything about it. The ferry system must be new. I don't recall that being a thing. Let's just go walking around here real quick. I don't think there's any other quests. They would have showed up. Oh, I had lied. It's not like Dark Moon Fair, is it, or something like that? No. Hey. Hello, friend. Would you like the scoop on the latest invention of the century? It's called the Scrapomatic 1000, and this device can triple, no, quadruple your prote production capacity as a crafter of armor, weapons, or other gizmos you adventurers wander around with. Here, take these pants and use the Scrapomatic on them. You'll get the hang of it. You have a great day now. All right. Going to use these pants. Scrap it. What did I get? Scrapped cloth. Can I help you? This machine is going to change everything. And just like that, you're back in business. All the materials you put in making the item come back to you with the Scrapomatic 1000. Well, maybe not all the materials, but hey, something's better than nothing, right? Oh, and keep an eye out for the Expulsum. It's what we've discovered as a magical byproduct of the scrapping process. It's quite potent and only shows up when we scrap really fancy stuff. Well, this is definitely new. <laughs> giving a scrap. That's funny. But, so, I can only get rid of certain things? But not everything. It does have a selling price of 21 silver. And I generally prefer money 
Even though money is like easy to come by, you get it for just about every quest you finish. My curiosity will not be sated until I put something in. Oh, crap. It's going to give me more crap than I want. <laughs> oh, no. There it is. Ooh, look at the sell price on that. Yeah, this is definitely for blacksmithing and stuff like that, which I am not a blacksmith. So we will leave it at that. And I will sell everything else. If nothing else, it would be beneficial to do that for the expulsum. Right? Expulsum. Yeah, that's probably how you pronounce that. That would be the benefit. Because it costs, it, it gives you, what is it, worth one, one gold 25? So that's not too bad. But, you know. What can I do for you? You can put me right back over to Hatherford. Hatherford. I don't know. Whichever one. Hatherford sounds more elegant. Tear God sound. We're kind of blazing through some quests here. I like it though. Pack mule. I thought we got we did, did away with those. All right. A warning to all griffin owners. Griffins, not windrunners. I'm an idiot. Do not let your feathered companions out of your sight. We have received numerous reports about griffins in the area being stolen in the night. If anybody can track down and stop these thieves, a reward awaits. Well, I do believe that is my calling. Well, 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 what do we have here? Vampire touch, ha! Oh boy. Look at this, I got a posse coming in here. <laughs> Suck it, nerds. I actually could have beaten them by myself. It was just a matter of like me flash healing. Cause it doesn't really it doesn't take any time to go back into shadow form. Especially if I just need to heal, so. But you know what? I'm not gonna turn down free help. That was awesome. That was the innkeeper who posted it. I heard the lost griffin came back. I guess you've got what you think. Uh, I guess we've got you to thank, Lara. Words are hard. English especially. A few days ago, a band of alliance researchers that called themselves the Explorers League took a contingent of Kul'Tiran soldiers to the old Drust ruins down the road. We haven't really heard from them since, and I'm growing a bit concerned. I can't leave my post, so can you check up on the team? Keep a weather eye Why, on. yes, I can. And while we travel, I take a swig. So how's everybody doing today? On this beautiful Saturday... Really appreciate you taking the time out of your day to come on down and enjoy some story with me. Glad to have everybody here. Mm -hmm. Might have a wee problem on our hands. A wee? Well, you're a wee. The locals in the League have been working together to reclaim relics in this here cave up the hill. 
but it seems that we've angered the previous residents. I think the Marines can keep the expedition safe for now, but I don't know how long it's gonna they can keep up. We need your help before things go south. Find Hilda Fire Hild yeah Hilda Firebreaker and uh, the leader of our expedition. She ran back into the cave for something or other or, or another. All right, I'll come back for your other one in a segundo. No problem. Do we have to go up this way? I think so. All right, they're fighting. We're not going to get attacked. It's fine. Yeah. Now I'm going to get some help. This is good. <laughs> I'm guessing they probably have quests to do with killing guys or something. So let's do that. The remains of previous trespassers also arose when we set off the main trap. Crankle Fuse here has been demanding that I help them, and while I can't say I'm too familiar with turning the undead, I believe I have found a solution. I've modified my staff to remove their curse. Take it and see if you can't help them. Okay. Uh, what about you? Birch and I are helping out the expedition with field studies. I'm not much of a fighter, but I can't make another mistake. They might demote me. Could you recover some of the relics we packed up in boxes around the cave? Why wouldn't you just, like, bring the relics with you instead of boxing them up and leaving them? It makes no sense. This is good, though. I guess when it comes to, like, quests like this where you're just going to be in an area for a short time, I'll probably grab everything I can, every quest that I can, and just go with it. I mean, besides, I mean, this is, you know, I know what I'm doing. I know what it's about. Eh, he's dead. Bye. All right, so Curse Raider. There you go. All right, let's, let's free your soul. Ooh, I'm gonna get help. Don't kill him. Don't kill him. Okay, these guys we can kill, though. Have at it, boys. Wait, where's the second guy? Or do I just get one? Yep, I just get one. That's fine. I don't need an, an army or anything like that. If I had an army, they'd probably kill uh, the next guy before I even got to turn him. Ah, that actually didn't hurt me. Are these guys carrying anything good? Nope. Just garbage. Oh, whoa, hey, what, uh, geez, what the hell? I need a target. Ow, ow, ow. Did I just lose it? No. Oh, it was a trap in the water? Really? I need more curse raiders. Oh, there's, uh, this dude right now. There we are. Done. Now, what is this about? I'm going to sidestep that. You're here to help, finally. I came in here to try and reclaim as many relics as possible. Sneaking in was easy, but I'm worried about things noticing me while I pack up. Mind watching my back while I get the relics stored in a safe place in my bag? Sure, why not? 
Good thing I've got this guy with me. Come on. Hurry up. They're going to start coming in droves. Would you hurry, please? What the? Oh, that's Hilda. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Okay, I was wondering when we were going to get another one. That one might affect her? Nope. So none of these affect her. It's just a matter of, you know... Or at least they don't attack her directly? I don't know. There we go. Everything worth our attention should be stored in my bag. Many thanks. Yeah, buddy. We got level two on the fade, even though I don't know how often I'm going to use that other than maybe in instance runs or raids. All right. All right. Got a couple more stories done. Yes, I'm calling them stories. No, they're not really stories that much. Can't wait to see what sort of power I can squeeze out of these. Another victory for Druid Magic. This staff is much more effective than any of Cranklefuse's gadgets. Right. Well, we're done. I mean... Neither of those takes uses mana. So even though they're, you know, even though they are uh, dots, I literally can just keep casting those. Especially Vampiric Touch. It is so powerful by itself. It would just make sure that the, the plague was, or the, uh, the dot was permanent, really, if I just kept casting it. You know what? Let's try that. I'm curious now. Um, I've had the time of my life. Disperse into pure uh, shadow energy, reducing all damage taken by 7.6. The unable to attack the cancer. Okay. Mind flay. It's kind of weird how shadow word pain is on the basic priest tab. Something set off a trap in the cave, and then the ruins themselves came to life. I expect that most of our lads still in that cave aren't aren't in, uh, aren't in fighting form. Could you clear out some of the living ruins to help them escape? Why, yes I can. I guess we're not spending such a short amount of time in here. We're going right back in, and I'm guessing... Yeah, these are the guys. Let's try this. Okay, so it does eventually stop giving you damage output. That's why. Does it really? Oh, and it heals me for 50% of the damage dealt. Oh, so I, I stack this with this, and then I'm just getting healed 100% of damage dealt. <laughs> All right, let's get the macro back here. Because, uh, yeah. I I was curious. I was very curious to see whether or not that would have worked. But I see why they did it. <laughs> because that's a lot of damage.
I mean, if that was the case, then yeah, you would just keep spamming Vampiric Touch and just kill things so quickly. Yeah, see, it doesn't do any more damage. Interesting. So, you can do it twice in a row for extra damage, but then after that, it's like, forget about it. It just reapplies the debuff. Interesting. They thought about it. They were like, we might want to tone this one down a little bit. I don't know why I keep looking at that. They don't have anything useful. Well, not to me anyway. Man, they've been using some of the same same sound effects for so long. In another three years, we're talking uh, 20 years for World of Warcraft. Which is just crazy to me. 2004. That's when WoW Classic came around. Though now it's known as WoW Classic. Don't touch me, don't touch me, don't touch me. Trying to do something here. I need two more of these protectors. And it just sucks that I have to go this far to get it. Whoa, what the hell is that? Awakened Guardian. I bet you I have... There's a quest to deal with him. And there's the trap. See, the first one doesn't actually cause any damage. Okay, never mind. Uh, interesting. Hold on. Let me take a look. I thought it caused damage every time you cast it. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Causes shadow damage over 21, over 21 seconds, so it is purely a dot, but this talent allows me to cast it instantly within the next 8 seconds, and it deals 136 shadow damage. I see, that's how they balanced it. Perfect. Let's go on down. Take the short, short way down. I'm good with that, too. Little damage here, little damage there. No big deal. But see, that's cool, because I if I didn't read this quest, I don't... I wouldn't know where those things came from. Those are just manifestations of... What? A spell gone awry? Or traps, I should say. So, yeah, essentially spells. The spell traps going crazy and, and causing rocks to come to life. Interesting. Never would have known that if I didn't read the quest. I've fought off spirits before, but never the actual ruins themselves. Get cracky. A giant... Oh, yep, see, there it is. I told you I was going to eventually go back in there. A giant one of those stone creatures killed quite a few marines while we were trying to evacuate the cave. It didn't chase us too far, but ignoring it outright is too big of a risk. I need It needs to fall. And what do I get? Yeah, I don't want versatility. Mmm, we get versatility and mastery right off the bat here. But the mastery at least we get a lot of, so we're going to go for the pants. Don't get your ballast in a bind. You're not looking too good, friend. 20% of your health left. Hmm. He only has a maximum of 400 health. I could easily beat his ass. Alright. Just wanted to get it back into sequence. So one downside to the macros is that, you know, if you forget the uh, sequence. Because you get into a rhythm. It's not like I need the macro. It just makes it easier just to push one button. 
And then eventually later on, there's gonna, I'm going to unlock an ability that really is just a single button push. And it'll apply, I think, all of these dots. I think it was... Um, It'll do Shadow Word Pain, Vampiric Touch, and then I think uh, Devouring Plague all at the same time. Which is crazy that it does all of that at the same time. But also very cool and convenient. So then that frees up, what, two extra slots on my, on my palette? Look at that! A little bit of a graphical glitch there with the uh, aura. Boom. Thank you, priest. I'll speak with you somewhere safer. Well, yes, you will. And shortcut. It's going to hurt. Ow. We're fine. Little scrape never hurt nobody. I dare say we've done quite a bit in an hour. I'm proud of me. I actually really am enjoying this. Like it's 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 nice to play games that you've played for years in a different way. You know, just like I've done with Skyrim for all, for over 40 episodes now. I'd always, you know, I I'd, I'd finished it back on PlayStation 3, but you know, I never really went to the extent of trying to play in a different manner and and uh that's where that whole series came from. And then, of course, Fallout. I never finished, but um, I wanted to take the same approach. There we go. And it's just always interesting to me. All right, there's the boat. Mm, no flight pattern, right. We just got to go down here. There's more quests to be had in Hatherford. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna clear this place out just like we did with the uh, with Exodar, not Exodar, but you know, Ashen Ashenvale. Oh, good, the train's right on time. <sighs> I'm gonna cut that out. I'm sure. To whomever receives this invitation, you are cordially invited to the 15th annual Norrington es Equestrian and Hunt Festival. People of all walks of life from across Kulteris shall gather to delight in life's greatest competitions, equestrianism and hunting, while meeting those of like minds and fine tastes. Hunting events shall start first, led by Abby Watkins in Fox Hollow Woods. They shall be followed by equestrian events at the Nor Norrington Estate. Hope, we hope to see you there, post-haste. Alright. Oof. We got a... We got a... Eh, little ways to travel. Shouldn't be too bad. Oh, oh, wrong way. We gotta go down this way. So, okay. We just go back to where we came from. We just gotta keep going. Because, see, even though it shows over there, it's gonna take a nice wide turn around the bend. So in times like these, they're just, hey, let's go for a hunt. Let's have fun. Uh, I believe there's some problems going on right now that we need to focus on. I'm not quite sure how many quests we've already covered. Be interested to find out. I'm not sure if the game actually tells you either. Oh, there's a quest right there. We'll come back for it. Hopefully I can remember that it's there. Oh. oh. Alright. Uh, seriously? Okay. That was weird. Let's see. What is it? Level... 
40 that I get my mount speed upgrade or something like that. I believe. I don't know. They've changed it so many times over the years. Back in the, uh, back in actually Burning Crusade even, uh, you had to get to level 40 just to get your first mount. And the top level was 70. <laughs> so it's like you had to go 40 levels before you could even go mounting up. Which is just crazy to think about now. To Welcome, pay? Traveler. Care to join the hunt? One of the greatest hunting sports amongst the nobles of Boralus is the stoat hunt. It is a sport of determination, patience, and skill. Do you think you can rise to the challenge? Stoats are agile, sneaky, and sharp. They're next to impossible to catch out in the forest, so the best way to find one is to find its burrow and scare it out. Find their burrows and bring back their pelts. Their fur is soft and much loved amongst the nobles. Yeah, and you're killing an entire species. Critical in mastery or critical in haste, which we are definitely going for that one because uh, crit is just above versatility. And since there's no mastery on this, we obviously need the haste. We're good. Steady on ahead. Whip. <clears throat> Scare the stoat out of their burrow. Stoat, stout, stout, right? Stout. No, stoat. O A T. So. I have to find this? That's a boar. Alright, you might as well fight. I may actually, you know what, I might actually bring those two abilities back because uh, although it's it's neat that I can just put the macro there, um, yeah. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, wow. Okay. Did I get it? I didn't get it. All right. Random quest in the middle of nowhere. A year ago, I lost my daughter to the largest boar in the forest. I have tracked him since, trading blows back and forth. But this time, let's just say I don't have much this time. Uh, I don't have much time left. All I wish for is vengeance. Please, priest, avenge us so that my soul can leave this plane and join my daughter wherever she may be. Oh, that's sad. I will do this for you, stranger. For you and your daughter. Don't, don't touch me. Good. It knows its place. See what I mean? You run into you run into quests like this, just like we did early on in the series, where we ran into the guy on the dock, and you know his family's bones were taken and stuff. And stuff. It's just like that is extremely dark. This dude right here, he's like, yeah, my daughter was killed by this thing, and I've been fighting it ever since. But it's gotten me now, and oh my god, that's just like awful. I'm out of range. Perfect timing, though. Hey, oh. Perfect timing. Thank you for the help. Settle the score. I don't know why I just noticed that uh, counter up to the top right there. That's for unfurling darkness. Bonus event. Warlords of Draenor. Time walking. I never understood the whole time walking thing. Never really bothered. It's good to know that these these guys will lead me to it. Nope, not not him. Well, you're going to be in the way. Damn, dude. It's just a regular fox or whatever. Like, what? 
Wow, I need five of these things. Ugh. This is going to take a while. But isn't that the thrill of the hunt? Not for me. Not for me. I'm, you know, I'm going to kill this thing before I attack the hole. I don't need you looming around while I try and target these things. Nice. Three more. Let's go turn this in, though. Here, let's just put that away. Caleb's body is lifeless, still warm. His wounds claimed him while you were gone. His face seems content as though he knew you would finish the job. Wow, that's really sad, actually. He died alone out in the middle of the woods. Well, whoa. Okay. Maybe not entirely alone, but still alone enough. It's kind of sad. My God, this one is going to take a while. They, they don't all give them to you, and they're kind of like scattered all over the place here. And it's not like these things are giving me XP, you know. What the hell? Oh. It's kind of chilling there, sleeping. There's two. There you go. It's weird, though, how it didn't stack. Even though it's the same thing, it didn't stack on top of each other. Just got to look for the foxes, see if they're sniffing around. They're the ones who find it. A lot of animals in this area, though. Oh, you know what? Why am I running around? I got a horse. I don't think it goes across the way, but... Uh, yeah, actually, it does. Never mind. Never mind. Did, was that necessary? The poor thing was just standing there. It wasn't... I'm not attacking you guys or anything like that. No, no. Just give me one more. You're kidding. You're kidding. Oh my god, just give me one more. Don't you hate that sometimes when you need to collect something and the game is just teasing you? 
It's just like, oh, you only need one more, but the next 10 of these things is not going to give it to you. It's like Cartman from South Park. <laughs> Do not take my stoat hole. Not what I wanted. No, it's <sighs> this one better have it. You just had to be around, didn't you? You had to be here, Fox. This one better have it, I swear to God. There you go, Atta boy. Thank you. What is that, uh, what's that star? I'm sorry. You want to clear your throat there? Fox Hollow Sky Terror. Wait, is that like a... Oh my god, it's an elite. I wanted part of it. This is a uh, orc hunter, so it sucks that that. Oh, that requires level 50, but. Ow, dude. Get out of here, stupid boar. Don't touch me. That's not what I wanted to do. What a waste. Right. That is a that is a pretty awesome thing. Oh, it doesn't require level 50. Oh, nice. Stop stop targeting the board or the fox. What do we got? Ooh. I mean, it's critical strike, but that's okay. You know, I don't mind a little crit. That's a that's a big big item right there. Niche. Well, big for me at the moment. Any rumors on the wind? Yeah, I collected enough stoat pelts, okay? Don't do that again. And I literally was going for this one. Ah, damn it. Critical and mastery. Mastery is the third thing in the list, so I might have to just go with that. We lose a little, well, we lose a little mastery. One mastery, we gain crit. Right, we're gonna have to. It's still a bit more of an upgrade than the pants that we have. Just a little bit, though. Hmm. Good day to you. Look all ways to the sea. All right, I'm gonna be right back real quick. All right, here we go. I'm back. These nobles really think killing weasels is the mark of a good hunter. Ha! It ain't. Hunting if there isn't a bit of danger involved. There are boars in these woods. That's more our speed out in the mountains. Why don't you kill some of those, then bring me their tusks as proof. Well, damn it. I just There's killed a bunch. Ooh. Perfect. Got some in my mail there. There's a boar right in front of him. But, you know, the tusks wouldn't have shown up. What do I got in my mail? Hmm.
husk. Thank you. He only had one. I guess he lost it in a fight or something. I honestly didn't think Colteris was a uh, was a horde and or a neutral place. Thought for sure it'd be primarily alliance, but to see a horde hunter here that that was interesting. Oh wow, it's back for some reason. Oh, that's a regular one. Nice. I got to kill the legendary version, and I got some good out of it. Well, at least good for now. Good for my current level. Owned. Owned. I don't need one more. See, unlike the stoats, these boars are giving me tusks with every one. Boom. One too many, but I'll take it. Either way, I win. Don't touch me. With your disgusting mouth. With your snout. Your tusks that I take from your face. What can I do for you? Boars actually present some semblance of challenge to the hunter. Harold lets out a hearty laugh. Now that's what I'm talking about. Up in the mountains, we know the value of a good hunting companion. We use bolas to shoot down our flying prey. Then our retrievers go and bring us their kill, our kill. You want to take a shot? Nickel can accompany you. Shoot down some of the falcons in the woods. My dog will finish the job. Take the wind in your sights. Okay, come on, buddy. We're going to go shoot some falcons. Uh, right there. There we go. Go get it, buddy. The the falcon. Oh, can I not do more than one at a time? Does the dog get confused? Nope, that counts. I just gotta shoot it down, that's all. Hmm. Pretty quick at the beginning there. That's four out of six. And... That's it, huh? They just give us four right off the bat, and then we have to go really searching. Ah, oh, there's one right there. No effort needed. Standing, standing right in front of me. Oh, crap. Don't get involved, doggy. You might get hurt. Done. Whoa, 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 whoa. You leave the dog alone. I don't think so, sir. You don't touch the dog. Stupid pig. All right, back to what we were doing. Come on, Nickel. Harold, you're not going to believe this. A boar almost killed your dog. There's nothing like a man and beast working together for a clean hunt. I am a woman. Thank you. Oh. Up. Oh. Up. Oh, there. Oh, there goes a the kid. 
Lord Norrington demanded I take Eddie out riding in the woods, but I knew it was too soon. I just knew it. We've got to find him. Meet me across the river. Okay. Eddie, I'm guessing, was the kid, not the horse. And now this dumb kid has gone off on the horse because the horse got scared. Damn it, I was... How, how did she do that? She just blazed right through the water. <laughs> Let me guess, Eddie got off the horse, yeah. Charmed, I'm sure. How could this get any worse? The trogs have captured Eddie. Oh, he didn't wander off, he got captured. My life is equestrian. I'm not a fighter. I could be... I could maybe take a trog or two, but not a whole tribe. Please, go into Mistfall Cleft and see if you can find Eddie. Lord Norrington would be furious if something happened to him, and nobody wants to bear witness to that. No, I'm sure. I'll take this one, too. Trogs are base creatures. They barely have any brain process, living mostly on survival instinct alone. They are pests through and through and need to be dealt with. The fewer of them there are, the better. See to your affairs. No problem. I shall see to your affairs. I believe that's what I'm doing now. Yeah, trogs are stupid. Oh, snap. Do they have money? They do. I'm gonna go down here. Yeah, I don't like trogs either. They're annoying. That dumb. Um, they even have quests in here. Oh no. The horse is dead. On the surface of the rock, you find carvings of what you make out to be ingredients. If you find the ingredients, perhaps you can make the trog soup yourself or for yourself. Cool. Soup. That's just what I want. You cautiously approach a sarlisk tied to a post. Uh, it doesn't snap at you, but looks at you with defeat in its eyes. The trogs seem to be keeping these sarlisks against their will. They should be freed before they are abused further. It's messed up, man. Yeah, these down with the trogs, man. Screw these guys. Oh, I'll stand in your grossness. You're not going to kill me. They kidnapped the kid and killed the horse. But I mean, how if the trogs are stupid, how would they know who that kid is? I, they may not. They probably just kidnapped him because, you know, it's meat for them or something. Stone soup. That's what we're making. Wow. How the hell do the trogs eat that? I mean, they are stupid, and their teeth are probably harder than the rock itself. To be fair. I 
a lot going on in this one small area. <laughs> It'd be cool if I actually freed the Sourlisks and they just started attacking the rest of the Trogs. That'd be awesome. I wouldn't mind the help. I don't know why I don't just shift click that. You can throw all the crap you want at me, you're still gonna die. Stupid and alone. Eating stone soup. Not sure why I'd want to make it. That that can't be good for my digestive system. Okay, we're good there. Need to kill this guy. Doesn't look like they carry anything crappy, so I'll just uh, shift click the guys too once I kill them. Last one, I think. Yep. I'm just going to use these up. Saltines is what we call them. Oh. Bet you I have to fight him eventually. Because he's here. Wait a second. Oh, he's a elite. I'll take it. And he's going to die pretty easily, actually. All right. That was a bit much, don't you think? Why are you on top of me? I'm a lady, sir. I do not do these things that you try to press upon me. Get out of here. Oh, what good are you then? There was nothing on you. Why did I take that? Whoa, that's 38 silver. Damn, really? Oh man, stuff's getting up there. Can't wait to get mine seer. Oh, nope, oh, don't want to do that. That way I can, you know, do more damage to groups. Not really more damage. The Shadow Priest is uh, pretty much a uh, single target type of character for the most part, but. Uh, oh, there you go. Sell price? What? 18 gold? 13? Damn, dude. How are these things worth so much? Right. No. Do that. There we go. Well, there's that. And then there's that. Got to go back this way. 
Still need to kill four more bullies. Oh, yeah. See, that's the first one that has some stupid thing on him. All right, these guys. Running out of bag space. I literally have three slots left. We'll go here. The soup has somehow taken on a somewhat floral quality. It feels well balanced on the tongue. It goes down very smoothly. This may be, in fact, the most delicious cuisine you have ever tasted. I highly doubt that. But you know what? It was worth. Because your boy just leveled. Oof, that one hit hard. All right, big guy. Where's the boy? Yep, there he is. That answered that question. Don't interrupt my spells, thank you very much. He was smart enough to use a key. Are you here to save me? You saved me. These trogs are really scary. They took Hotshot and dragged me through the camp. Yeah, well, they... I'm sorry to tell you, kid. They killed your horse. So, you're not going to see Hotshot ever again. Sorry. Sorry, sorry to be the bearer of bad news. But so you, somebody was going to tell you eventually, right? If it wasn't me, it was going to be... Uh, your caretaker there, who is a pretty awful caretaker, if, ask, if you ask me. She's not very good at her job. She's lucky I'm here, though. The champion of Azeroth. Any rumors on the wind? Fewer trogs means fewer of our people getting attacked. This is true. Trog's training Sarlis to be ridden? Seems they've learned from watching us, after all. It's better that you freed them. I don't particularly want to imagine what would happen if the Trogs were widely successful in their new riding endeavors. Lord Norrington will want to thank you for saving his son himself. Why don't you come to the estate? Uh, the estate. We're preparing for a festival, and everybody's welcome. We'll go ahead and tell him of all that has happened. See you there. You do realize that by telling him that, that means you're telling him you kind of messed up. You see how bad that could be for you? You're telling him of your failure to protect his son. Yeah. I wouldn't tell him. Then again, I'm not you. Is that all the, uh, is that all the quests at the camp? There was this one quest back here. I want to make sure. So there's just these random chests all over the, all over the place. They contain some good stuff. Hey-oh! 
That's a daily quest? What? One more slot. All right, where's the road? We gotta go back this way. Where's the camp? You guys seen the camp? What the hell happened to the camp that was, like, right here? Maybe it's up there. I think that was the last quest, though, in that area, so I'm not gonna worry too much about it, but I know there was a quest down over here somewhere. There it is. There you are. Seashells for sale. The prettiest in all of Kul Tiras. Wait, Azeroth. The prettiest of all... Uh... Wait, Azeroth, the prettiest in all of Azeroth. Oh, okay. She was correcting herself. Got it. Papa wanted to go fishing, and Mum is working, so he brought me along. But I'm bored. I'm trying to sell some of the shells I found washed up on this beach, but nobody seems to be stopping. Uh, that's because there's nobody here. I don't think my shells are pretty enough. You don't seem like you're afraid of those big snakes on the beach. Can you bring me back some prettier shells? Only the shiniest, please. Sure, why not? It's like a old day lemonade stand, except with seashells. Oi, big snake. I don't think she's talking about you, but... Well, yeah, she's talking about the big snake, but... But uh, they don't have the shells. I have to go around and get them. No, no, no. Hey, get back here, you little... Give me that. Now you have no home. Oh, crap. Doing it again. No, you don't. I love the sound that my, my dots make. Whoosh, whoosh. You got money. Seems as though there aren't just snakes down here. It's goblins, it's whatever those things were, the fat thing that I just killed. She lied to me. There's more than just snakes down here. Oh, you don't get any, you little rodent. That's right, you're a rodent. I hate goblins. The goblins in this game are so freaking annoying. Alright, that's those. Four more of the uh, smaller shells. Why didn't I shift click? I don't know. The hell was that? Oh, it's just a regular bird. I'm thinking it's like some giant bird or something. Nope, just a regular one. Come on. Oh, really? You're gonna start this? Oh yeah, that's the other thing too. I don't like them because they're also greedy little bastards. I don't have a target. This little girl's obsession with seashells is gonna get me killed. There's 
There's one right in the middle there. It's the last one I need. Oh, got it before he saw me. And we're out. Come, let us parlay. How was that? I'm trying to sound like a proper se uh, shell seller. Oh, these are so pretty. I bet they'll sell really well. I bet you they won't. I bet you they won't. Right. I'm just going to go back real quick to, uh, to the town. See if there are any other quests that I may have missed. Because I feel like if I go to see Lord Norrington, it's going to start a whole other line. And we still got some left back here, I'm sure. Or maybe... Well, I don't know about back in the trade... What is it? Trade... Trade wins market. But hey, we're friendly with uh, the Proudmoor Admiralty. So there you go. There's that. And this is literally nothing. Oh, there we go. There we go. Let's see what you got. Hey you, you looking for work? I ain't got a job for you, but I can tell you to stay away from Algerson Lumber. Algerson's will promise you some solid labor work and decent pay, but it's a lie, I tell you. The conditions are terrible, we're getting attacked, and Algerson ain't even batting an eye. He don't care about us little people. I'd stay away if I were you. Well, you know, that's, that's just not something I'm good at. Stay away from trouble. It's just uh, how I am. But, 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 that is going to do it for this uh, episode, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining me. There's a lot of good story here, I gotta say. I mean, again, it's just another, another quest where a father lost a family member. In this case, it was his daughter, and he's like, man, I really wish I could see her again, but she's dead. And he's like, I'm, I'm looking to avenge my daughter. And it's just, uh, it's just unfortunate. It really is. But it adds variety, spice to the story of Azeroth. And I like it. I like these little, these little side quests. You know, we're not always sticking to the main quest, and that's the point. We gotta see what this game is about. There's stories everywhere. And I am not gonna rest until I hear them all. But that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. And please join me again next time where we go check out this lumber camp and see if we can't uh, right some wrongs over there. And then, of course, we're going to go to, uh, see Lord Norrington and uh, see if he's got anything good for us as a reward for saving his son. And I'll be surprised if his uh, son's caretaker doesn't get punished for what happened. Uh, and if you like this episode, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe if you haven't already, check out the website at gamersplatform.net. We have a store now, so if you want to go on over and check out some of the merch, please do. Anything and everything helps, even if it's just a little bit. Um, if not, that's okay too. Just check out the uh, other series that I have, PlayStation Playground. It's exclusive to gamersplatform.net, but I guarantee you it's better quality, just like this is on the website as well. But until next time, guys, I'm Adam Wolf. This is World of Warcraft, and I'll see you guys later. Yeah.